No. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. No. Okay, then I'm so sorry to bore you. Take it What's it about? What's it about? Oh, yeah, this call is about refunding the insurance money back. Oh, refunding the insurance money back, I see. Yes? Yes. Okay, are you, okay, are you interested in getting this call, sir? We would like to help you also. We were more than happy to help you also. You want to help me? Yeah. We, oh. This call is not only for Mr. B, it's for each and every one. Oh, for each and every one. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Before I go ahead, I'll just confirm your telephone number. That is. Is that right? Well, I suppose it must be. Yeah. So let me introduce myself, sir. My name is Simon, and I'm calling you from BBI Claim Line. I'm just calling about refunding your insurance money back. Oh. Wait. Yeah. So if you remember, sir, and your name, you had a loan in the past, which is completely paid off now, and on that particular loan. You also had a PCI, a payment protection insurance, which was sold to more than 39 million people all over the entire UK. Because this PCI was the biggest scam ever held in UK. It is being added to each and every loan as a wall free bank, without the customer's concern, without their knowledge. So now it has been announced by the High Court that whosoever have a loan before the year 2009, they shall be entitled to get £1,800 to be paid for the insurance. And on top of that, they will be getting 12% interest as an apology from the lender. The money will come around £2,300. So this money now belongs to you and you're going to get it, all right? Yeah? I see, yes. Okay. So before I go in here, sir, can I just confirm your last name? How do you spell your last name? It's Aker. A-K-E-R. A-K-U-R. Aker. Yes. And how do you spell your first name, Christian name? Is Edward E D W A R D. That's lovely. So this loan was taken out on the year 2004, which is paid back on the year 2007. And the loan amount was roughly around six grand, in which the PPI, the Payment Protection Insurance, was being added there without your concern, without your knowledge, right? Oh, I see. Was it? And, yeah. Oh. Yeah, and this was I'm amazed you know all these facts about me. Yeah. Yeah, there are more than 15 million people who have been added by the insurance without their concern, without their knowledge, right? Oh, goodness. Okay. How shocking. Yeah. What a yeah. dreadful state of affairs. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Would never have happened before the war, you know. Yeah. And, sir, uh, I believe you have seen about the CPI, TV, media, or even in newspapers. Oh, that's what you believe, is it? Uh, yeah. Have you ever seen about the CPI, TV, media, or even in newspaper? Uh, no. Oh, that's not a problem. So, uh, Mr. Acker, this uh, person loan while I'm talking, do you still remember who might be the lender? Was it like Lloyd, Barclays, Halifax, HSBC, Natwood, Santander, Abbey National? Uh, yes, I think it might have been Abbey National. Yes. That's what I got here. That's what I got here. That's what you've got there. Oh, excellent. Yes. Oh, well, I'm glad to see we're on the same page. Yeah, so congratulations now, sir. You are fully entitled to get the insurance money back. Oh, excellent. Yeah, so before I go in ahead now, I'm going to just grab a pen and a piece of paper. I'll just give you the basic load information and I'll give you the PPI reference number. Oh, I see. The PPI reference number. Yes. Yeah, just, yeah, just grab a pen and a piece of paper with you. Yes. Have you got it down there? I certainly have, yes. Yeah, you can write down first the name of our company, that is PPI Clean Line. Hold on. I just need to go and get a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, you can take your time, no worries. Yes, I'm just going to get the paper now. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Oh, gosh. Hello. Now I just tripped over a spaniel. PPI claim line. Don't you want to know about the Spaniel? Sorry? I tripped over a Spaniel. Uh, who's Daniel? No, not Daniel. Hello? Hello. Yeah, are you talking with me, sir? Yes, I'm talking to you, yes. Yeah, okay, you can write down our company name, that is PPI Claim Line. PPI Claim Line, yes. Yeah, that's the name, yeah. And now write down your PPI reference number, that's 1089. 
1089. Oh, there's more numbers. Yeah. Oh. So now it's 212. So it's not 1089, it's 212. No, it's 1089. Oh. Two, three. What? 1089 21 two, 2 3. 2 1 2 3. Yeah. Uh, and Mr. Acker? Yes, it's Major Acker actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I believe it has been a long time back. You do not have the loan documents with you, right? No, I don't have any loan documents, no. No, that's not a problem. You do not need to proceed. I'll take the connected call to my paper department, who will be the last person you're going to speak to. Oh! The other authorized, and, yeah. and the other authorised and responsible team was going to send you each and everything in writing. Oh, I see. Yeah? Yeah, but they can ask you five details about this loan to qualify for that paper. Oh, right. Don't worry, this is just, yeah. yeah, do not worry, this is just a verification call at the end of this call. We will be sending you some paper at your doorstep. Once you receive the paper, you can go through it. And if you think this is something beneficial for you, then only you can sign that paper and send it back to us. I see. Simply tear that, yeah. Or else you can simply tear that paper then and there. You're under no obligation. Yes. Yeah. So the first question my paper department can ask you is that I understand from my colleague that you have a loan with insurance on it. Tell them positively yes. Okay? Right. And the next question I'm going to ask you, who is the lender of that loan? Write it down there, it was Abbey National. Right. And they can going to ask you when was the loan taken out and when was it paid off. You can make a note it was on 2004, paid back on 2007. Oh, right. Yes. You're sure about those dates, are you? Yeah, I'm sure, okay? Yes. I write down the amount, yeah, they write down the amount of 6,000 pounds. Oh, it's 6,000 pounds, was it? Uh, yeah. I thought it might be more than that. And right now, you do not worry, you will see all the exact information in the paper. Oh, right. Yeah? Yes. So you can write down, yeah, you can write down this was a personal loan, all right? Personal loan. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Acker, do you still remember uh, what, uh, this, uh, this loan? It might be for a car or maybe for home improvement. Do you have any rough idea? Uh, yes, it was for a spaniel. No, no, no. Uh, was it like for a car or maybe a home improvement? I'm not talking about his Daniel, I'm talking about Mr. Edward Acker. No, no, there's not Daniel. It's not, it's not, it's a Spaniel. Uh, uh, who is he? A Spaniel. Okay, no, 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 that, just leave that. I believe, uh, Mr. Acker, do you still remember this personal loan which you have? Do you think was it for a car or maybe for a home improvement? No, it was for a Spaniel. Is that a car name? No, it's not a car name, it's a dog. A pedigree spaniel. King Charles Spaniel. You bought, you bought, uh, you took out a loan to buy a dog? Yes. Yes? A spaniel. Yes? Okay. Okay. What was it I got the loan for? I said you, you bought this, you bought, uh, you, you took out this loan to buy a dog. Well, it's a spaniel. Have you got it written down there? No, no, no. Uh, what is that thing? Is it a dog, a human being, or a thing? It's a spaniel. What is that? It's Daniel. What is it? No, not a Spaniard. Do you think I have piles of Spaniards lying about the house, just waiting for me to trip over them? I suppose there was that time Marjorie had an affair with one of them, and I had it, found him uh, hiding under the bed. No, no I said no. Spaniel. Spaniel. No, no. No, okay, that's no problem. Right down there, this is a home improvement loan. Write it down there. It's not a home improvement loan, it's a spaniel. Okay, you're good. If, they, if my advisor asks you, uh, what, why did you call the loan? What will you say? Well, I, I'll explain. You see, I just taken out. Uh, I just finished uh, my fourth gin and tonic of the morning, or it might have been the fifth. Anyway, the tortoise was chasing the spaniel around the room. He's always a bit frisky when he comes out of hibernation, you see. And he was annoyed because the spaniel had nicked his iPod. So I got up to uh, pour myself another drink, and the spaniel dashed in front of me. And before I know where I am, whoops a daisy! I tripped over the spaniel. Tripped over the damn dog. That's not yes. Okay, that's not problem. You can just say that this was a personal loan, all right? All right, yeah. yes. Yeah. And, uh, the next well, you know, I'm not sure I have any truck with today's compensation culture, you know. 
Oh, I've stubbed my toe, so I deserve to be paid money for it. Oh, I took out some payment protection insurance. Well, boo-hoo, you should have checked your finances better. Oh, I should have a payout because the Major shot my son for cowardice. And it wasn't even in the army, it was a shelf stacker in Tesco's. Sorry, old boy, we're going to have to let you go. Your face doesn't fit in today's modern armed forces anymore. No, oh, I did enough of flying a desk anyway. Now, ah, where was I? Sorry, what were you saying? Yeah, if we ask you what type of loan was this, you can just say that this was a personal loan for the general expenses. Oh, general expenses. No, no, I knew general expenses in the army, and I don't think he'd take a personal loan out at all. Okay. Uh, is this your loan or your son's loan? It's my loan. You've got the information there. You've got the dates and everything, so you must know it's my loan. Under the name of uh, Major Edward Echo, yes. Mr. Adbert, just write down this was a personal loan for the general expenses. For general expenses? What, you mean sort of, I got it on general expenses behalf? Yeah, I got the information, that's the reason I'm telling you. Write it down, it was for the general expenses. Oh, right, yes, hmm. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah, and the last and the most important question they can ask you is that how did you found out, how did you realize that you have a loan with the BPI insurance on it? Oh, I see, yes. What will your answer be? Well, what do you think my answer should be? Yeah, your answer will be BPI was a compulsory package. Just write it down here. PPI was a compulsory package. Yeah, okay. At yes. any point of time, yeah, at any point of time, if they ask you, if they question you anything about the PPI, just simply tell that it was a compulsory package, you never use it, you never claim it, and you never complain to Abbey National about the insurance. I see, yes. Yeah, so Mr. Actor, I'm just gonna do some recap out here for you, once again, regarding those information I've just given you. Right, uh, what was your name again? It's Simon. Oh, Simon, right. Okay, Simon, fire away, as they used to say to me. Hmm. Yeah, I might, yeah. You can write down my middle name is Alan. Simon what, sorry? Simon Alan Sexton. And then, and what's your surname? Sexton. Sexton. Okay. I see. Yeah. So, one more thing. You can just write down there. Uh, I'm just going to do a recap. I mean, I'm just going to do regarding those information I've just given you. Oh, I see, yes. Some questions? Yeah, I'm just gonna ask you some questions and you have to answer me for that piece of paper, alright? Right. So, Mr. Agler, the reason I'm calling you today is just to help you claim your insurance money back. Right. And the reason I'm saying that, and the reason I'm saying that you can go ahead and get your insurance money back is because most of the insurance were missold and overcharged, okay? Right. Yeah? Yes. Do you remember Mr. Agler, who is... Major Acker. Major Acker. It's not Mr., it's Major. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mr. Acker? No, Miss Major Acker, not Mr. Acker. Okay, it's Mr. No, Major. Major Acker, okay. Ma Major Acker? Yes. Yeah? Do you remember who is the lender of your loan? Yes. Okay. Who is it? What? Oh, who is it? Oh, it was Abbey National. Oh, that's lovely. And do you remember when was the loan taken out, roughly? Um, no, I haven't a clue. I just gave you a piece of paper, it was taken out for 2004, paid out for 2007. You gave me a piece of paper? What, over the phone? No, I just gave you the information on a piece of paper, right? You gave me the information on a piece of paper? Well, it's still just not a fax, you know. It's a phone. You haven't write, you haven't write it down? Oh, I wrote something down, yes. Yeah, so I'm going to ask you once again, do you remember when was the loan taken out? Which year took out the loan? Well, the the dates you've given me are 2004 to 2007. Okay, and do you remember how, was the, how much was the amount, roughly? Oh, the amount? Yes. Yeah. Well, how much do you think I could get? Five, six thousand, six, seven thousand? Oh, I see. Right. Yes. Where's the money coming from? That's what I'd like to know. Mr. Acker? M Major Acker? Major Acker? Yes. Congratulations, I'll send you a check at your doorstep, all right? Oh, really? Okay. You're going to send me a check? Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, and write down there something in a piece of paper. Write down that you are a fool. Hello?
Well, that's no way to speak to the customer, I don't think. You were called today at 16.45 hours. We do not have the caller's number to return the call. <laughs> Please hang up. Oh dear. Two in one day. 